everybody, and welcome back to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and I've got a really fun one for you guys. We're going to be talking about my Goodwill pickups, and these are four Goodwill pickups, um, and you'll see a trend from the last month's uh, pickups. But um, first up, up is a A24 film that I saw on streaming and really, really loved. Um, I absolutely adore this film, and uh, it is Ladybird, um, directed by Gre written and directed by Greta Gerwig. Um, it was uh, let's see, it, it stars uh, let's see uh, oh god, I, I cannot pronounce her name worth anything. Soros, Soros, Royce, uh, Ronan, uh, Lauren Metcalf, um, Tracy Letts. Lucas Hedges, Timothy Chalamet, um, Beanie Fel Fel uh, Feldstein, uh, Stephen McKinley Henderson, and Lois Smith. Um, and so I know Lois. So, um, and of course I know uh, Lauren Metcalf and uh, you know Lori Lori Metcalf. I said Lauren Lori Metcalf um, from Roseanne and Big Bang Theory. Playing Sheldon's mom, wonderful. Scream two. I mean, you can't get anything better than that. Uh, yeah. So Timothy, Timothy Chalamet before he was like Timothy Chalamet, you know. Uh, Chalamet, Chalamet. I don't know. However, you say I'm really bad at names sometimes, and especially if the names are kind of harder for to pronounce. Uh, special features audio commentary with the uh, director Greta Gerwig and the cinematographer Sam Levy. Um. Realizing Lady Bird featurette and best reviewed movie of all time from Rotten Tomatoes. So wonderful film. It's an A24 film. And um, if you know anything about A24, they are a lot of fun. They make some really good movies or put out really good movies. Another movie I, I don't think I have yet. Um, I, I didn't check or anything, but I just saw it and I was like, well, if I have it, I have it. But uh, it is No Strings Attached. This is the Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher movie. Where <clears throat> it was like the same time that Ashton's, well, I don't think they were wife then, but Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake did this very similar movie. They're kind of competing in the box office sort of thing. Um, so like, I think it was like Friends with Benefits. Yeah, so there's No Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits. Um, this one has the Blu-ray disc and a DVD disc. The Blu-ray disc has deleted scenes, six sex friends getting together inside uh, the sassy halls of Secret High, uh, Modern Love, The Do's and Don'ts, and audio commentary by the director uh, Ivan Reitman and more. Ivan Reitman directed this? Fuck. Why did I not know that? Nellie Portman was one of the executive producers. I'm surprised about that. Um... Man, Elizabeth Merriweather was the writer and directed by Ivan Reitman. Holy shit. I did not know Ivan Reitman directed this movie. DVD 2 um, has just the feature film and a digital copy of the film. So, all right. And if you remember me from last time, I have uh, two movies that will be similar to the two movies I got the, la the other the, the last month. But it is to round up my um, collection. It is the Hunger Games Mocking J Part One, which um, was directed by For uh, Francis Lawrence again, uh, written by Peter Craig and Danny fucking Strong, man. So <clears throat> I remember Danny Strong from Buffy the Vampire Slayer playing Little Jonathan, which is my name. So it's really funny. Like I was kind of identified with him. Like oh, I'm. I'm a meek little guy, nerd like him, you know, like whatever. So Danny goes on and he's in uh, like Gilmore Girls, I think. He had a part in that. And then he was had all these other shows and, and whatnot. Um, and I think he got that because Jane Espenson, I believe, was a part of Buffy and uh, Gilmore Girls. Um, so when I met, by the way, I, I want to tell the story real quick before I get into the whole thing with Danny. I met Jane Espenson. She came to Women Mary where... I, I live around and I had the chance to go to one of her talks. I'm so sad. I didn't like break things down or didn't do anything of what she had to say, but she was doing stuff on women and television. 
and like a whole talk. And I was in there listening to her and I talked to her briefly after. And I don't even think I got a picture with her, which I should have. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but uh, it was back before I had like cell phones. I could take pictures, you know, and shit. Uh, this is a long time ago. And I met her and I talked to her about Joss and, 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 you know, stuff like that. And, you know, and I think she gave me her email. There's a lot of things I'm like kicking myself for. Like, I think she gave me her email address so I could send something to her to send to Joss, you know, kind of thing. And I never did it because I probably didn't have anything worthy to show her at the time. But God, mm. this is when I was working at a video store too. Like, I could have done all that stuff. Danny Strong uh, worked with her on Gilmore Girls and, and Buffy. And then, moved on to become a writer himself. He's written some big movies and stuff. And and Hunger Games is apparently Hunger Games Mocking Jay is one of them. And did he do the other ones? Did he do Catching Fire? No, Simon Bufoy did and Michael did from so I wonder if there's like new writers each one. But uh Mocking Jay uh part one has uh, him and Peter Craig um and then let's see Suzanne Collins uh adaptation by her so I don't know what that means um I don't know what difference that makes with the screenplay and the adaptation uh this one stars Jeff Lawrence Josh Hutchison Liam Hemsworth Woody Harrelson Elizabeth Banks uh Julianne Moore Philip Seymour Hoffman Jeffrey Wright and St Stanley Ch Tucci and Donald Sutherland so great cast um, I gotta watch these because I just I, I I do love uh love these films so I, I love the style and, and the idea of it so I kind of want to see them. Uh, special features included uh commentary with director Francis Lawrence and producer Nina Jacobson. The Mocking Jay Lives, the making of MJ One documentary, straight from the heart, a tribute to Philip Seymour Hoffman, who I'm not sure if he died after this or whatever but man i miss him so much he deserves more dedications he's one of those people that i would love to do like uh watch movies i've never seen of his and do like a a, a like a review of all of them together like and just talk about them but yeah um there you go so mocking j part one um it's got like daily scenes and some other stuff uh songs of rebellion lord on curating the soundtrack um insurgent sneak peek okay so i guess they're the same company that Lionsgate is the same company that produced insurgent i did not know that in the divergent series uh and then mocking j part two so to finish it off i don't have the new one because i don't even think i don't even know if that's out yet on blu-ray it might be but i'm probably gonna wait till it comes on you know at goodwill or something um, somebody put these all out like they went out and put this out there so um, over five hours bonus materials on this one uh, also directed by Francis Lawrence and written by Peter Craig and Danny Strong uh, with I think the exact same cast listing including Philip Seymour Hoffman and uh, yep so there you go um, part two and eight part documentary with an in-depth look at the aspects of the making of the film called Pawns No More, um, including acting ensemble, visual and costume design. Sweet. Um, Hunger Games, a photographic uh, journey, China's, or Chen Cena's sketchbook, um, Secrets of the Mocking J Armor, Panama Display, the uh, Hunger Games exhibition, Jet to the Set, audio commentary with Francis uh, Lawrence and producer Nina Jacobson. So there you go. Well, I'm surprised they don't, unless the unless the writer Suzanne Collins doesn't want to be a part of it. But I'm I'm surprised they don't have her them her on the commentary tracks. So that'd be interesting to hear, like, especially about. I'm sure she talks about it in the documentaries or whatever, but like her thoughts on the adaptations being made and everything. So anyway, that's it, I guess, of this one. So uh, join me in another month for you know another goodwill haul but that that's it for now um hope you guys enjoy this and let me know what you guys think talk to you later bye